Good freaking morning, guys. Today's video is going to be another weekend vlog. Right now, I'm making myself some matcha. I've been trying to do that instead of having coffee. If you guys haven't seen my latest video or my latest post on Instagram stories, I was feeling super depressed and down and I just didn't know how to get myself out of this funk. This is the first day in literally like three to four weeks or so that I've actually felt like myself. So I just want to let you guys know that I'm doing 100% okay now. I am probably going to start an online therapy. I've been hearing a lot of things about the BetterHelp website. I think there's this weird stigma behind people needing therapists and I don't think that you necessarily even need to have anything wrong for you to have a therapist. I just think that it's nice to have a third party person and being able to talk to somebody about things. I know a bunch of you guys were concerned about it and I just wanted to let you know that I'm definitely out of that funk now. Hopefully it won't relapse anytime soon. I have a wedding today. It is currently Thursday. I didn't require a minimum for this bride, literally not having a bridal party at all. So I'm doing her makeup today and then I'm going to do a baseball game later tonight. I'm really excited because I freaking love baseball. That's the only sport that I actually really enjoy watching because it's the only sport that I understand 100%. Okay, I'm obviously on the ground because I'm about to start meditating. I usually go for about 10 minutes and I like this good full channel. I might have to kick my dogs out of the room if they don't behave, but I think they're pretty calm right now. Like, look at this face. Look at this thing. Yep. I think I'm gonna have to kick them out. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Right, I just said something very, very simple. Yeah, like literally minimal effort. So I decided that I want to go ahead and surprise my husband. I just feel like we need to start doing things for each other a little bit more than we used to. I'm going to go ahead and stop by McDonald's, get him a iced caramel macchiato. And then I'm also going to get him a Arby's gift card as well because Arby's is like right across the street from his work site. I have my polarized sunglasses on, so I can't really tell if I'm in a frame or not, so hopefully this looks okay. I am headed to Arby's and McDonald's right now. I know they're both on the same road and they're not very far away from each other. I'm hoping that my husband didn't like randomly run to go get supplies or something at like Lowe's. Ice caramel macchiato? Mm -hmm. Okay, great, thank you. Got the drink secured. Then I kind of need to backtrack because I did pass Arby's beforehand and now it's taking forever to turn right out of here, which I'm waiting for another person. Oh wait, are they open? Is Arby's not open? Oh, please tell me they don't open at nine. No, they open at seven. Why isn't anybody here? All right, gift card secured. I see the store that he's working at. Let me see if his van is there. Either that or they might park in a different spot. I'm not really sure. Is this van even there? Let me wrap around behind it. Oh, wait, I see it. Yep, here it is. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna go surprise him. There he is. I brought you coffee. You're welcome. You got $20 on there. Damn. All right, I feel like it's been a very productive morning. I feel like my husband was thoroughly shocked that I was actually there, but unfortunately he was kind of in the process of getting something handled. He just texted me and said, thanks for the coffee and the gift card. Now I'm gonna be heading to CVS because Ulta is not open still. It's about nine o'clock. CVS last time didn't have a really good selection of lashes. So I think I'm gonna try going to Walgreens instead. I always have to resort to drugstores whenever it's too early in the morning for Alta's to be open. Cause Alta I think either opens at 10 or 11 or something. And that's a little bit too late for me since I have to be at the wedding at 11. There's a guy in a construction truck over there. I don't want him to back into me. So I'm gonna park way far away. Quick 
haul for you guys. Got all of my stuff here. So I got two packs of the 421s, the Ardell Naked Lashes. You guys always ask me what lashes I buy and those are always the go-to. Then if I wanted something a little bit longer and more dramatic, the 421s is the other style. I shift in between and they do have the fluffy ones. Sometimes the lashes are really inconsistent. Of course, I got two of the lash glues because I needed two of them and they were buy one, get one 50% off. Winning. They were out of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. That's the normal one that I go to for mascara. So I ended up getting the L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara. And then I also got the Fragrance Free Neutrogena Single Makeup Remover Wipes. Those are the ones that I put in my touch-up kits. I am stocked and ready for this weekend. Whew, it's kind of hot outside. I got home not too long ago. I want to show you guys what I got in the mail and I'm pretty freaking excited about it. You guys are going to be shocked because it's not a makeup brand. This company reached out to me and they are Teddy Blake. If you guys haven't heard about them, they are based out of New York in the United States. They create custom Italian leather handbags designed in Italy by Italian designers and they basically create affordable leather luxury fashion. So you're not paying that really like high-end price tag. I mean, none of their bags even are close to a thousand dollars. Guys, I am so shocked with this that it looks like a Birkin bag. If you guys don't know, Birkin bags can range anywhere between like $12,000 and up. They're extremely expensive. I'm not gonna lie, um, this isn't my first unboxing. As you guys might have known, I unboxed this on Instagram because I literally could not wait. Like it showed up at my doorstep about maybe a couple of days ago and I was so freaking excited that I just literally tore into it. This is the box that it comes in it's pretty sturdy packaging then what's really nice is it does come already wrapped in its dust bag i will probably be keeping it in its dust bag when i'm not using it that's the really nice thing about it because it literally preserves your handbag guys you're gonna die ready look at this thing I'm sorry. Is this not the cutest thing ever? It has the same style of like a Birkin bag with the handle on top and then the hardware. And I love the freaking smell of leather. Like this is like real Italian leather, guys. This is called the Ava Croco Silver 9 inch in light beige. Obviously it does have a Croco imprint on it, but it is leather so that it was stamped to look like Croco. It says Teddy Blake New York right here in like little embossed letters. I just feel like this one has such great detailing on it. I don't know. I just have never looked at a bag before before and have been like, that's so beautiful. Except for the Chanel bag, but that's like $5,000 that your girl does not have. The cool feature that I think this one has is it has a lock and key right here and it does actually work. You push, keys are sitting on the inside of it. So you can pretty much use this for whatever you want to. And then on the lock, it says Teddy Blake, but yeah, this is a functioning lock so you can use it for other things. I also love when handbags have the little metal feet on the bottom, especially if you're putting it on the floor or something like that, then the handbag doesn't get dirty itself. Then it does come with a shoulder strap like like this that comes separately. It does have really awesome detailing on here. It kind of almost looks like a belt buckle. I think that's what it looks pretty similar to and it has that silver hardware again and they just attach to these little metal bars that sit on top right there. Everything feels very sturdy like I'm shaking it around and it just feels like a very very like sturdy handbag which is awesome. It does have this little zipper right here you pull it across and you can stick things right in here. You can like stick your keys in there or any flat things so like maybe receipts. I gotta admit though this one isn't super big so if you guys like having a lot of things inside of your purse then I definitely would get the 11 inch. They also have a 13 inch one too. This is how you open it undo these guys so this like pulls up it's just like a little buckle and then you pop this out and then it just opens like this and that is the inside of the bag it's pretty simplistic on the inside i do like the fact though that it actually has like that leathery like felt kind of material on the inside it's very soft it has a pocket that is sitting right here on the inside and then there's also a zipper part right in here so those are the only two pouches that you get in here again if you guys need more space i would definitely recommend the other two sizes but for me i don't really carry around many things anymore i am 5'2 for reference in case you guys don't know how short i actually am this is how it looks like compared to my body here you can also use it as a crossbody. of course you can always just like string it through your arm right here and then carry it like this. I don't know. I'm just really impressed with the quality of this and I'm probably going to switch over my stuff like literally this weekend so I can have it to carry around with me. I'm so freaking excited about it. But yeah, that is pretty much the handbag 
You can see it in better light right here. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Also, I'll be providing a link and all the information for this specific one down below as well as their website. So definitely go ahead and check that out. Just an update, I did get the Juvia's Place eye primers and replace my P. Louise's because literally the P. Louise's were all out of stock. I usually get them on Morphe's website. They only carry like three shades anymore, which is kind of weird. However, I have found the best bases. I do like P. Louise's colors a little bit better, but I feel like these actually hold a lot better. Juvia's Place does only have three shades. Shade one, which is the lighter one. Shade two, which is this mid-tone yellow one. And then I have shade three, which is really going to be good on deeper skin tones. Then I also ended up getting the Senna Brow Book. As you guys may know, I freaking dropped like my entire makeup kit on the ground almost and all the powders broke. All my brow powders broke except for like three of them, I think. Those are the Anastasia brow powders and I feel like they were kind of getting near their expiration date. So I just decided to trash them and then start all over again. So I got the Senna Brow Book. The only thing that is missing, if you guys can't tell, is like a dark auburn shade. I feel like all the rest of my bases are covered. We got blondes, taupey colors, darker shades, and then there's even a black in here too. I also like the fact that they aren't like those half colors like Anastasia does. Besides that though, I just need to restock my lashes. It's about 10, 15 right now. I have to head out in about 15, 20 minutes-ish. I'm going to Union 12. I've gone there multiple different times before. It's more of like a rustic, like barn kind of venue, but you can kind of turn it into whatever you want to. I feel like that's literally my home away from home. Like I literally have a wedding there today and then I have a wedding there on Saturday. All right, gotta put black towel in here. Should be good. And I just need to attach this on the outside. All right, now I'm gonna bring this whole entire camera and stand with me because I gotta bring the stand to be able to film the application for you guys. I did get the bride's permission for this. Oh, this is so weird. It's like 1020 and I haven't left for the wedding yet, but then I'm doing a wedding on a Thursday. It's very strange. I'm going to go ahead and get gas really quickly. I never know if people are turning there or not. I technically could probably get it after the wedding, but I figured I might as well do it now while I have time to kill. And then by that point in time, it should be like 1040 and I should be able to make it there on time. Oh my gosh, why is it freaking $60 for gas? What is happening? Oh my God. Yeah, it's only 10.32, it took like four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the venue now. Okay, I am here at Union 12 right now. If you guys have been following my vlogs for a while, you know that I literally am here like almost every weekend. I think I'm gonna go ahead and head in. It's kind of weird that there's so many cars in the parking lot. I'm used to showing up here at nine when they open and then literally being the first car here. It's about 10.44, so about a quarter till I'm supposed to start. Gives me the perfect time to get in there and set up. Okay, I officially want every single one of my freaking weddings to be that easy. The bride was nice enough to get all the vendors Chick-fil-A, so I got like a chicken biscuit and some Chick-fil-A sauce and everything. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. Um, my dumbass forgot my phone at home, 
My phone literally is how I take credit card payments. So thank goodness the bride had Venmo. I had her look it up and she was able to find it just fine. If she didn't have Venmo, like I don't know what the hell I would have done. Cause it's not even like I could have invoiced her either unless I went home and invoiced her. But then obviously she wouldn't have been able to pay that probably until probably when she got home. Side note, do not forget your phone ever again when you go to weddings cause it's a real problem. Yeah, I am probably not gonna talk to you guys until later, which is going to be when my husband and I leave for the baseball game. Good morning guys, it is currently, it's currently Friday. <laughs> I knew that doing a wedding yesterday would literally throw me off for the entire weekend and it's already happening. I got up, I think a half hour ago I wanna say, I'm obviously still in PJs. I just did my morning meditation. The plans for today are actually pretty simple. I just have a hair appointment with a girl that used to work at Ulta. She used to be my hairstylist when I worked at Ulta. Probably am gonna be cutting probably about four inches off my hair, like so probably about right here. Your girl literally fried the ends of her hair. Like I have so many split ends. I mean, I know you guys are gonna be like, yeah, well you decided to go blonde. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. The only thing that I don't like about blondes is that you have to constantly tone them. My hairstylist is going in and actually cutting it and then toning it too. Okay, I'm back home. I'm very sweaty. The dogs are very pooped. Yep, and down it goes. <laughs> I literally have on the same shirt as I did yesterday because I'm so lazy. But now I'm gonna have to change shirts because I'm really sweaty. I don't know why I tried to walk outside with uh, short sleeves and long pants. By the way, if you guys are looking for really solid deodorant, <laughs> The native deodorants are seriously the best. I know a bunch of people are sponsored by them, but I'm not. I just am here to say that they are actually really good. This one's scented like vanilla and sandalwood, which smells like one of my perfumes. So it kind of just smells like a perfume underneath my armpit. I don't have to meet the hairstylist until like 11 o'clock. I haven't eaten yet. I probably should eat something. Okay, I'm currently headed to my hair appointment. I did not bring my actual vlogging camera. That's why the quality isn't as good as it normally is and probably the audio too. I'm also kind of nervous now about cutting off like four inches on my hair, but I think it'll be overall healthier for me. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. Right, I look like a completely different person now. So with the toner, um, we went a little bit more purple. I am just headed home right now. Everybody is freaking stressing me out while they're driving though. I feel like I'm getting stopped at every single one of the stoplights and I need to freaking make it home. Yeah, I gotta be home at 1.30. 
for a bridal preview that I'm doing. All right, so my client just left. I literally had to like get home really quickly. I had about 15 minutes, literally set up all my stuff and um, did the bridal preview. It went super well. I forgot to get a picture after the bridal preview, which I usually do. And um, the girl did not think about it because I was so scatterbrained when I got home. Afterwards, I decided to go ahead and try to wash out as much purple as I could for my hair. Obviously I wanted it toned, but I just didn't think it would be like that intense. But eventually this all will like fade out to like the yellowish kind of color that it was. I just have to fill out my consultation sheet from this hot mess that happened here. I have a wedding tomorrow and my bride is doing the luxury bridal package. So unfortunately, the Tatcha sheet mask that I usually got my clients is no longer being sold anymore. I specifically had the Luminous Dewy sheet mask. Those are the old versions. And then there's the, I think, hydration sheet mask or something that's online right now and that's the current version i have not tried that one so i didn't want to use it on a client if i wasn't sure how it was going to react i picked up the dr jart sheet masks i did try this one on myself and i really liked it a lot it sat really well with makeups also for sensitive skin too i always include my rose quartz roller because i usually like to roll the mask onto their face and kind of sink in the serum and then i do have the skin iceland hydro cool firming eye gels and that is what i use underneath their eyes but yeah that's pretty much all i have going on for today i kind of just want to chill out to be totally honest honest for the rest of the day. I've been literally hooked on catfish episodes off of MTV and I've been watching them on Hulu. So I think I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night and then I'll touch base with you guys tomorrow. It's about six o'clock in the morning on Saturday. My husband actually went to work this morning and that's throwing me off. So I kind of think it's a Friday now. I'm going to be heading off to a wedding here. I have to be there at nine o'clock. I don't know why I'm whispering because I'm the only one here. Anyways, um, I'm doing something kind of experimental. <laughs> so I pretty much washed out like the majority of the purple yesterday yesterday in my hair, but it's still bothering me that it's such like a dark gray kind of color because that's not really what I intended. So I think that my stylist and I were talking for way too long. We both got distracted and we're sitting outside. I think the toner got left on for way too long. So I think we overly toned my hair. I looked up online um, home <laughs> remedies on how to fix it. I swear if I end up on like one of Brad Mondo's like videos or something, I don't even know what to do. I heard that lemon juice and hydrogen peroxide Side, lift colors out of things almost like a color remover so this says 100% lemon juice but it totally has other ingredients in it. It's not like I'm using like straight lemons because I don't have any. And then I'm using a 20 volume developer from Wella. It does have hydrogen peroxide as its main ingredient. So that's why I'm using this. Okay, I'm gonna start off with this mixture. And then I do have like an actual brush. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We are fully drenched now, like literally. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and probably try to wrap it up in like a plastic bag or something just to retain the heat a little bit. Now I look like Squidward. And I know some of you guys are gonna be like, Julie, it's gonna wash out. Like, why don't you just wait till it fades? I'm like a very impatient person, which is like 99% of the US population. I'm gonna go ahead and do a cool tone makeup kind of look. I'm thinking about going kind of dramatic. It's been probably a little over an hour. I wanna say like an hour and a half. I kind of just wanna see um, what we're looking like as far as the hair situation. It's definitely still really gray right in this area. I don't know if this necessarily did anything guys, but we'll see. Okay guys, I just showered and everything and yeah, I don't think it actually looks too bad. Okay, I have about a half hour before I have to leave. I think I timed that pretty well, honestly. Hey, I am just headed to Union 12 right now. Honestly, not upset about my hair at all. Like it looks pretty normal now, which is funny considering how purple it was. There's only six full applications that I have to do and I feel kind of bad for the bride. It's kind of rainy. It's not currently raining right now, but it was earlier and I don't know if it's supposed to rain throughout the day. You pick venues during the summertime because you think it's not gonna rain and you have decent weather. And it's been decent weather like all throughout this week and it's just happened today that it's been super raining. Like it started raining last night. Okay, I just got here. There are a few cars in the parking lot. The bridal suite's usually open kind of early. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in. Yep, just at Union 12, my home away from home. <laughs> Baby, I got you, 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 you I've been being
feet into the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But then I'm not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby I got you, 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 you be happy how many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone before you get to meet someone like you how many songs can you write about heartbreak how to go when you're fed up with mistakes maybe i just found the answers maybe i just found the answers in you
I'm okay if I got you. We don't have to stay. We can do what we want to. Just give a little bit of your heart. Give a little bit of your heart to me. All the most scars start to heal when I'm with you, and I can't explain how I feel when I'm with you. Just give a little bit of your heart. Give a little bit of your heart to me. Just come give me all your love. I want you to know we can make it together. Let the wind blow. All we need is each other. Come take my hand. You're all that I have now. I won't let you go. Cause I found. I just made it home and oh, that's the longest that I've stayed in a wedding at a really long time. I got there at nine and left at three o'clock. The only people that I didn't film were the grandma's application. And then I also didn't film one person because she wanted to just add lashes on. So I charged her like $20 to do eyeliner and lashes and mascara. The last application was actually somebody that I added on at the very last minute. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you guys did, definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up as well as also hitting that subscribe button down below. If you guys really enjoy makeup artist related content, tips, vlogs, etc., I upload that on my channel. So definitely go ahead and subscribe if you guys haven't already. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.